A new U.S. study suggests that heart problems may be a long-term consequence of COVID-19. The study analyzed data from over 1 million patients for a year following infection. It discovered that some patients suffer from heart arrhythmia or blood clots even have their initial COVID symptoms have been mild. Doctors think these patients may have had pre-existing heart issues which were brought to light by the virus. Putting on a mask cuts down the risk of passing on COVID through your breath. Most people continue to suffer post-COVID respiratory problems. A new study in the U.S. suggests that catching the virus can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Even a light case of COVID can leave lasting repercussions. We speculate that it may be because when the virus enters your heart, it causes some immune system storms, which may damage the heart. After some immune reactions, patients are susceptible to hypercoagulation, which can lead to blood clots. So there might be problems like a pulmonary embolism or increased risk of stroke, etc. The study examined data from 1.1 million cases, analyzing patients' heart health from one month to 12 months after first infection. Patients experience cardiac arrhythmia, myocarditis, heart failure, and blood clots, sometimes lethal ones. Some patients who recovered completely from COVID came back to the doctor with heart complaints. The most likely reason was they already had a heart problem and then added to that the infection, which caused the problem to worsen. Furthermore, previous studies have told us that once you catch COVID, COVID, these risk factors increase. Doctors don't rule out the possibility that these heart problems may have been pre-existing. Getting COVID merely hastened the onset of the disease. Patients with mild COVID symptoms sometimes experience the same heart problems. The CECC's most recent list of COVID symptoms names cough, sore throat, fever, runny nose, and blocked nose. Heart problems may not be on the first roster of symptoms to appear, but there are post-COVID risks to bear in mind.